Welcome back to Night of the Dead. It is day 57 and I thank you again for joining me. We will be upgrading the base as we've been discussing previously. Um, we need to start taking this up to Need to find iron for that. I think I want to get all the traps in before I start upgrading this stuff to iron. And obviously I need to upgrade this, the rest of it to stone as well. Um, so let's go out. Let's get some planks. You know what? What do I have on me? Let's get some traps built. Let's see if we can't get the spike floors in. Okay, so I have 43. If I go 10, I need 10 for that and 10. Okay, good. Let's get some plastic.
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, copper wire. <laughs> so I need 29 more copper ingots. And I need 30 wire. Come over here. Do I have enough to build 10? There we go. Let's see what we have. Now I'm thinking I almost don't need to have. Oops. I need my hammer on me again. I'm thinking I don't need to have this to be. Oh no, it is two up. That one I only did one, but that one I did do two. Okay, never mind. I was thinking that they could just run up that and wouldn't need to... I wouldn't need stairs. And I was wrong. Okay. Ah, okay. Let's go get some nails and some rope. Nails and rope. So there's still two cutters needed out. If I put guillotines here, that will help. What am I missing? Oh, oh it takes three. So we've got these spike floors in this corridor is pretty much the only thing that could change is if I put guillotine 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 so one two three four five six seven guillotines in there I have enough to do two more guillotines terms of traps. Those pop up high enough for me to be able to see them. They do. I'll be able to see them right in there. That one I can see from here. Excellent, once this is all upgraded. Okay. So if I can put one more there and one more there and put them in between all of these, that will help the efficiency of this kill zone. I guess the last thing I really need to look at is how I'm going to work this in. So there lies part of the problem. This is lower than that by one. It really shouldn't make much of a difference though. So. We should be able to hop up there. Okay. If these weren't anchored to the ground, would the uh, 
<laughs> gotcha. That process. These are anchored to the ground. Because they're anchored to the ground, the zombies come to them. To attack. Whereas if this was a floating base, they'd have no choice but to run that way because there would be nothing that they could even think they could attack to get to me. See how they're attacking down there? Come on guys, come up here. Time for a rethink. We're going back back to a floating base. Back to this being floating. It just makes sense. Doesn't give them anything to attack. Whoa! <laughs> so they have nothing to attack. So they have no choice but to take the route up to me. Whoops. Back. Do -do 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 -do. traps. Ah, uh, who cares? Trap should come down at this point. Nope. 
There we go. One fell all the way over there. I have no room, more room for rope. get the rope that's all over the place.
Okay, I'm back. I had to take a phone call. Actually, a day later. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what it is I want to do. Um, Okay, let's get this finished up. Okay, I don't need to watch that. So normally I have three fall traps, trap doors. So if we take a look at the bases I got in this playthrough, we've got the factory base, which has three paths with three trap doors at the end of each one. The third path has only been used a couple times, and that's when I was really just letting it run wild to try and see what the base could and couldn't do. Then we went to the downtown base. And it's got two paths, one of which is, I mean, I'm not even sure how many times it's been used or if it's really been used. I mean, I know I've had to uh, reload the couple of the traps, but that's pretty much it. So. This one here, I'm going to go a little bit different. Currently, we have the entrance, whether it's the downtown base or the factory base, and then they go basically straight into the pendulum playground over there. The idea on this one is to, one, I want to try and use pendulums a little bit more in a different manner than just the way I have here. But let's see if we can't thin the zombies that are getting up here to just being a trickle. 
And then that way I don't need to have as big a base with as many different pathing options. The downtown base locations, I don't know, locations kind of cool. However, it has its issues because of how the zombies are pathing back in and it's so sporadic and chaotic that you can't really control how the zombies are pathing and where they're going. So one of the things I want to do is, and that was one of the reasons for going downtown in the first place, is to try and control them. And I thought by dropping them onto the roof, they won't jump off the roof, they'll path this way. Well, they were jumping off the roof all over the place. And, um, you know, it just, it just really didn't work. Not the way I had hoped it would. So that being said, how can I control them differently here? <coughs> As I've said, I'm going to have fences that basically close in this area. And fences that come up here and close in this area. So when they fall off, they drop in here and they can't get out of the area. They only have one path option back and that is coming up here and going along the gauntlet here and probably even going straight out that and then out and around. So they're going to get hit by these traps um, and the shredders that are going to be along here or whatever other traps I decide to put along here. I may put a crusher in there too. Um, again, just so there's the height. The biggest issue is how am I going to get from here up onto that easily. And then again over onto the other side. So this pendulum playground is going to have four pendulums in it. At the end, this is going to be compressors and spiked floors just to keep it simplicity for simplicity's sake. Compressor, spiked floor, shredders, compressor, spiked floor. This is where I believe I'm going to branch off. got to build things in the right order.
doesn't matter if they fall in here. If they fall in, they can get back out. So does it really matter? I just don't want them to fall off that way. Hmm. So they definitely want to force them down this route. Does it really matter if they fall in here? If they get knocked off, that's actually probably better. That one there needs to be repaired. Ack. Okay, that one there needs, okay. rebar. Excuse me. Okay, that doesn't work. Wasn't sure if it would or not, but it doesn't. So I do have to go back to the way I was going to do it initially. Okay, that kind of, that takes care of that. I can just go up and down like this. And there's that.
And then all I have to do is somehow have it where I can get down into this one. Okay. I'm liking this. A little bit more compact. and walls so they don't feel that they can jump down onto this area. Nice. It is starting to take shape. I can also put two guillotines in there that will be able to be reloaded. Now I just need to work out how I get down in there. Ah. And I'm kind of... <laughs> that's hilarious. I removed this. Put a column there so I can step up and I can just run over that way. I think that's the best option. Okay, so this is the path that I'm going to be running. It's starting to take shape. I like that. Need more planks. Okay. Okay. I think this may have to change. I don't know if I want them to maybe be able to drop down on there. I guess we'll only find out if it works at that time. So I don't fall through. Okay, let's end this episode here. My next daytime episode, I probably won't show anything. I have to just go and do a major push for resources. Um, I might show a bit coming back here. Um, but yeah, I just have to, I have to get some resources. I can start upgrading everything here. Um, I don't want to close that in. This one's still open, so if we take a look here, I can get at all of these walls to upgrade them if I need to. Um, I can even get in here to upgrade this one. So what I can't do is get in the ones in behind that wall to upgrade them. So I need to get across praise supports in there, get them upgraded to steel so then I can close it in and not be worried about it again. Sweet! Okay, so thank you for uh, tuning in again and uh, the continued support. 
I'm kind of winging this one a little bit. <laughs> As I've seen things happen, I've kind of started to change maybe where the direction I'm taking it in. Oh, you know what I need? I need branches. That's not going to be enough to do the wave night. I do, however, have these. There we go. That'll give me enough. I don't think I have many more foundations to build anyway, so I don't really need them here. 32 fuel, that should be enough. I think I left some back at the other base anyways. We'll take half of those. Okay, so thank you for watching. Thank you for your continued support. The likes and comments, greatly appreciated. And I will see you again for wave 58. I do like the look of the floating base better. And uh, depending on where you are in the world and what time of day you're watching this, have a great morning, a great day, a great evening, and a great night. Cheers.